Hey guys, my name is Seb and I'm the Associate Development Test Lead on Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. Now on behalf of the whole development team, we want to wish you a warm welcome to this closed beta. Today, we are extremely excited to share with you the game that we've been working on for more than four years now. Ghost Recon Wildlands is the very first military shooter set in a massive, dangerous and responsive open world that you can play entirely in four players co-op or in solo. During this closed beta, you'll be able to discover the very first hours of Ghost Recon Wildlands in the province of Itaqua, one of the 21 regions of our massive open world. At the same time, we are launching the Ghost Recon Network, the ultimate platform for all Ghost Recon players. Log in now to create your task force, compare your stats, or plan your upcoming game sessions. Please do not hesitate to join the community and share your best moments by using the following hashtag. A new version of the fan kit is also available if you want to decorate your channel with the GRW colors. For more information, join the dedicated closed beta portal and invite your friends. Thanks again for your great support, Ghosts. We couldn't do it without you guys. We'll see you in the field soon. Last week, a crude explosive detonated outside the U.S. Embassy in La Paz, Bolivia. Two Marine Embassy guards were injured in the blast. Two days later, a CIA asset in central Bolivia provided us with these images. Our analysts have identified the individual in the photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval, my friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine industry. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. Our target, the group responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of Special Agent Sandoval, is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca Cartel. Yesterday, they were just narcos. Today, they're narco-terrorists. Initially, the Bolivian government resisted the Mexican cartel. They formed UNIDAD, a Bolivian special forces unit. It didn't go as planned. Thousands of bodies later, politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered species. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. With no other options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. You stop killing our people, we'll look the other way. Since then, Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. With their friends in Mexico, they also have a clear pipeline to the US and Canada. The only way to stop Santa Blanca for good is to completely dismantle them, piece by piece. The cartel is organized into four operations. Production, smuggling, security, and influence. At the top of it all is El Jefe de los Jefes, Boss of bosses, El Sueño. 